Yeah. Okay, so what genre do you feel this film would be? Uh, I feel like it was sort of a thriller or a horror. Mm -hmm. like yeah, that. I'd agree with that. What made you think it was a thriller or a horror? Um, it's just the music. The music. Yeah, like the, the whole, whole sort of atmosphere of it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, is this production similar to others of the genre that you stated? Um, I don't think so, because if you think about thrillers, you think about psycho, mm -hmm. and that's not really like that except the abduction yeah. sort of bit. I feel it's quite similar to like Taken mm -hmm. um, with like the action in it as well. Cool. Um, are there any characters that you can relate to? Um, not personally but I feel like other people could. Which ones would you feel would be um, the most wonderful? Probably to Ricky. Mm -hmm. um, well, I feel like I could relate to Beth because yep. she's quite geeky and that's sort of what I am. Cool. Um, can you see any stereotypical characters in the three main people? Oh, definitely Josh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Josh. I think Josh. What, what's so stereotypical about him? He's just a bit of a party sort yeah. of guy. And yeah. Sort of go out and. Yeah. He's just stereotypical yeah. teenager. Um, where do you feel you would see this film? Um, really on telly, like as a sort of advertisement to ward off people going online and talking to people. Yeah. Yeah, or like a short film uh, warning people on the dangers of the internet and that. Mm -hmm, like you'd so. see like in a school assembly yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, would you want to watch the rest of the film? Definitely. Cool. Yeah. Cool, simple one. Um, what do you feel is the target audience and does this include you and if you could give me an age range as well that would be really helpful. Um, I think between the sort of ages of like 12 to 20 when people are like in just becoming teenagers I think they're more vulnerable to things to happen to them on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sort of like agree with them when like 12 to 20 and like just really people who abuse the internet. And yeah. Uh, last two questions then. Uh, do you feel the characters are relatable? And yeah, because they're sort of our age and just like, they're sort of just going through the things that we're doing, like exams and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Cool. And the last one. Have you gone through similar experiences to that of the characters? No. Um, like I've spoken to people online, but I haven't like met up with them or mm -hmm. like carried on speaking to them. You just speak to them online, yeah, just like friendly online. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's the interview. Um. So what genre do you feel this film would be? Um. Don't know. It's more just like oh, it, it looks a it, horror, but it might be. It, it looks a bit like an educational sort of skit yeah. where they talk about you know don't watch these things online. But yeah, horror. It's got kind of horror because the music and all the tone and everything. So. Yeah. Okay, um, is this production to others like, that you've seen? Yeah, because it's got them thought with message that goes all the way through. It's got the characters that you can relate to and all that stuff. All the good stuff. Similar to the genre that you've seen, though, like, would you see this situation in another horror that you've seen? Yeah, because it's informative and then it's got the... I'd say yeah, yeah. I've seen it. You've I've seen it in you know the same sort of situation of someone online, the whole relationship between them. Some people are against it, some people for it. So. Okay. Um, are there any characters that you feel that you can relate to? All of them, really. I was gonna say it's more of a, a rebel, but a smart rebel. Yeah. So. <laughs> they're all just very. Both, yeah. yeah, they're kind of in between. Solid characters, so in between. Yeah. Can you see any stereotypical characters in? Well, yeah, they're kind of like solid, like you got you got the sensible one, yeah. you got the risky one, yeah. and then you got the just acts like everyone else one, yeah. and then of course the stalker person. Yeah, it's just they're creepy. Own, they're, they're their own category. Yeah. Okay, um, where do you feel you would see this film? It looks like online sort of work, you know, just like an indie sort of film that's distributed, YouTube and untraditional, websites. Untraditional outlets. Yeah. Okay, um, would you want to watch this? Yeah. yeah, looks interesting. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Okay, um, what do you feel you Target audience for this sort of film, and do you feel that this includes you? Teenagers, definitely teenagers. Yeah, it's relatable to you know everyone would probably find one character that they could relate to. Do you feel that like you would actively watch it? Yeah, because it's informative. It, it looks like good so, camera work for a start. It, look, it looks Just like engaging. Uh, it's got an everyday situation that people could relate to, so it'd be interesting to watch. Okay, last two questions. Um, do you feel that any of the characters can relate to you specifically, and why? 
Um, probably the Rebel, because I talk to people online a lot. But yeah. at the same time, you know, the smart, you know, sensible one also, because you've got to have that balance. Yeah. yeah. No. No, it's never. No. Okay, and the last one, which is having gone through the experience. So you have. I haven't been dragged into a bush before. <laughs> no, I've never. Never met, well, never really, like, met someone personally that just completely met offline, so. So you're careful with who you talk to? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good.